okay in this video we will talk about the transpose command in splunk okay and while doing that we will talk about a very interesting use case and the use case is like we know we know about the sort command right which basically does the sort the row wise for a particular table right now what if i wanted to sort by column wise okay there is no specific command for that so we will try to use the transpose command to achieve that with some other commands obviously it will not not single uh, handedly handle that particular situation we will we have to use some other commands as well but we'll be mainly using the transpose command for the for the logic building purpose okay now for that what i have done is over here so this is a very simplistic data if you see like it has country it has different kinds of cell phones and their count okay now the final final table we wanted to have it something like this one so we need to have different country as a column name okay and different different types of cell phone as a row values and if you see it over here like this this country this columns right usa india france or whatever it is it is sorted by the total count over here okay so that means for usa if you just take the whole count of all this android iphone and windows phones the total count is bigger than india and india total count is bigger than france so that means it is a column wise sorting if you see it over here right and after the sorting we have to create a total column as well which will basically have the cell phone wise cell phone type wise total count over here okay that's the overall use case we want to implement today now for that i have basically indexed this particular data in my main index if i just show you over here so this is my main index and just to just to sync with the data what i'll do is i will just take this three columns only okay so let's let's take these three fields table this thing count co u nt so we we have we have this three fields over here right now the thing is the first thing we have to do we have to see it over here is first we will try to make this data more or less like this one first okay how you will do it we have to use the xy series command right so we'll say xy series okay and then if i just take this three things cell phone country and count so what it will do the cell phones will be at the row level and it will basically create the country values at the column level over here if you see it right if you are not sure about what xy series do i already created a video for this one maybe i'll be giving a video link over here as well okay now we are able to achieve this part over here but if you see it like splunk is whatever automatically setting the fields over here like it is it is not doing any kind of sorting over here because ideally usa needs to be the first column if i just wanted to implement our use case india will be the second column and france will be the third column over here right so as splunk do not do any kind of any uh, those kind of uh, calculations so we have to make it over here we have to create our own logic over here so what we'll do first is if you see if i can just if i can just make this three data right the france data this india data and the usa data row wise then i can take the total of it i can sort it i can use the sort command over here right so let's let's try to see it over here first okay so let's if i just do a transpose now what transpose command do it over here so let us talk about the transpose command now so it's basically it basically converts the rows into columns and the columns into rows that is what it is do it is same like the matrix transpose if you are aware of it okay so it returns the specific number of rows as columns and columns as rows over here okay so that that is what it is do so if i just if i just call this transpose command now let us see what it what it does over here okay so if you see it does couple of things first of all if i if i just if i just 
see this data without the transpose it will be easier to understand okay so initially i have this cell phone france india usa these things right if you see these are all my row values like cell phone france india usa android this numbers iphone this numbers and windows this number these are my row values now let let me do one thing let me create a new search window over here over there maybe we will try to run this particular command with with a with the transpose command over here okay so that we can we can compare over here okay so if you see it over here this this cell phone android iphone windows this was a column for us right now if you see it becomes a row over here okay similarly for other other stuff over here as well okay this guys this guys all these columns become row over here okay so that is one thing we have achieved another thing if you see it over here the transpose command created a new column values over here something like this one a column the first column value as a column and for each and every other stuff it it will create a like sequential row numbers like row 1 row 2 row 3 something like this one okay so there is a there is a input of the uh, transpose command called column name by which you can change this name if you want to have specific logic you want to implement with this name the default value is column maybe you can go ahead with this one as well but if you have a specific name let's say let's say some name test over here okay so you can mention that one as well so it will the first the first column name will be that name over here if you give it over here okay so i will try to keep it as is okay it does not make any difference for us now now there is a another input of the transpose command called header field okay which we will see it soon now for us now let us go ahead with this logic over here now why we did the transpose because we want to add this row level values right so by using the add totals right so if i call this particular add totals what it will do for numeric fields it will it will basically calculate the row level the row level total over here if you see it right now you may be guessing where where i am going now if i just sort this by this total what will happen sort minus by this total right so what will happen my this this guy usa will be the first one because it is having the maximum value over here maximum total value over here then the india then the france okay that is what we want but that is what we want at the column level not at the row level right so what we can do it over here is we can again transpose it we can again transpose it now in this time i want to use this guys as my column right so that means my header value has to be this field th this this values usa india france cell phone that's why i will be using the header field over here okay so the concept behind the header field is it will basically display the a particular field value as headers when we do the transpose right now in the header field you have to give a field name over here right so for us we want to create the column names or the field names table table column names as usa india france and cell phone right so that values are st stored as a value of the column field so that is what we will be giving it over here okay so if i run this guy now what will happen the transpose will create the column something like this one usa india france okay and the cell phone but one thing you have noticed it over here as as the usa india france was sorted over here right so it when it transpose it usa become the first india become the second and france become the third so th that's why we basically added this this three steps over here okay we transpose it we just take it the row level details so whenever this whenever the first transpose happened this guy would have become a row level value right so that's why the add call total will calculate the row level addition over there right so then when we sort it by the total usa becomes the top most row if i just remove the transpose we have seen that one right then india then france then when we did the transpose over here so usa become the first column over here correct first column 
India become the second column, France become the third column over here, right? Now we can just remove the fields minus the this this column over here, okay? So that this column will not affect anything. Now, if you see it over here, even let let us before before do that one 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 thing I, we, I have to do it over here as well let's let's remove that because this particular row is existed over there so let us remove that row as well over there okay so how we can remove it we can just filter by this column not equals to total right so you can just say where our column this value of this field not equals to total so that will remove that particular row and then we can just we can just fields minus column so that will remove that particular field so we are able to achieve the column level sorting over here okay but one thing if i just see it over here like it ideally like if i just wanted to produce this exact output over here the cell phone column has to be the first column okay then I have my sorted columns over here. Then I will take the total. That that is very easy. It's just a call of add call totals, right? Now, how to achieve this one? When you have numeric non-numeric values as a column value, how it will be the becoming the first column, right? So that's that's the challenge now over here. How I can make this particular column appearing over here, right? Now to overcome that, what we can do it over here is make this non-numeric column as a numeric column with a very very higher value so that whenever our sorting logic will happen right it will always sort this guy as the first one okay so that's the logic i have thought of maybe when you have a actual scenario to implement this stuff maybe thought of some think of some different logic as well which are having similar effect over here okay so for that what i did it over here i'll just copy that eval statement uh, which i previously written over here okay so after xy series so let us let us do this one remove this remove this part let us try to understand so what i what i did it over here for each and every cell phone value i converted it to a very high numeric value over here okay if you see it like i have just given, given some big numbers so ideally in production scenario maybe these values can come from a lookup or something like this one okay that that needs to be done because it, it cannot be some random value over here because it may happen that for these values it one time it may exceed this this particular value so maybe these values will be continuously changing in the lookup then from the lookup you will be reading this value so those type of arrangements should be there but i am just keeping it very simple over here so that we can understand the concept over here okay so we created a numeric field with the purpose that whenever our sorting logic will happen this sorting logic will basically keep this particular column at the first right so that is what we have with that purpose so now what we can do is we can remove this particular cell phone this numeric cell phone value okay later we will we will convert it so now our problem if you are thinking of problem is becoming the same as sorting this columns right sorting this data column wise right so that we already know how to do it using the transpose and other stuff like right? so first we will transpose it then we will use the at call totals then we will sort by total then we will transpose again right that is what we have done it over here then we will so let us do this part which is which we already saw before right so if i do this one if you see it our cell phone numeric is becoming the first column then my usa then india then france over here right so this column anyhow you are removing it but this is the interesting factor over here because of this numeric in nature our this particular column wise sorting logic if you see this is this is nothing but the column wise sorting logic over here right so this this column wise sorting logic is actually making this particular field as the first field over here right then we can just remove this this total rows over here right so let us copy that code and remove this column field over here as well this this particular field over here we do, we do not need this particular field now okay 
right so now our job is to if you see it over here we almost created this particular table these values are already there at the first column then usa india france right total we will be creating it very soon now the job is to just convert these guys to a non numeric that means whatever case statement we have used it over here we just need to use a similar case statement over here as well to convert it back right so we can we can do something like this one right so let us copy this this is a very simple case statement that's why i'm not writing it so over here what we have done when our cell phone is android we make it 9999 if it is iphone it is 9998 something like this one the so same conversion i have done it over here as well if my numeric value is 9999 then it will be android right then if it is 9998 it is iphone similar stuff right here also is the best way to implement using it lookup over here okay so now if i just run it so this becoming my this phones like different kinds of phones over here cell phones now i can just rename this guy as cell phone over here that is that i can do it over here correct that i can do it mm, so that we'll just make it sync with our end table over here okay and one thing is left is called the total so you can anyway call this add totals add totals to create a total field over here okay just like we have it in our table over here so we saw an interesting use case on column wise sorting but we mainly used the transpose command over here so we saw what what is the input of column name what is the input of header field over here right in the transpose there is a another input called include empty over here okay so that so if you are table having a empty values so that is also include transpose will also include when it is transposing it okay otherwise it generally omits that one so that yes or uh, true or false you can make it over here now another thing which is very important over here is transpose by default only transpose the five columns over here so that's why if you see after transpose there is a int value over here right now if you have more than five columns which you need to transpose it you need to make it pass as zero over here as a int value if you see it like default value is five over here but if you have multiple like more than five columns which you need to transpose it then you have to use transpose zero right so in that case it is always safer to use transpose zero everywhere okay transpose zero everywhere so that we can handle that particular situation as well over here okay so hopefully this video was helpful so what you have seen it over here like a use case of not only the transpose command different other commands as well but i already covered this add totals other commands over here like x y c d is over here that's why I, i did not focused much on those part okay so but hopefully i am able to establish a use case for the transpose command over here okay see you in next video